Hello and welcome back to part 3 of FilmFX tutorial. So, in this part I'm going to explain you guys about the object source and particle source inside FilmFX. So, before that I would like to go over uh, one thing. So, let me just quickly set up a FilmFX container. Okay. In the previous part we just uh, went through a simple source from the helper down to film effects simple source okay so let me create one as well okay so um, and then going to film effects container modify panel and film effects UI so I could go to object source and oh, sorry okay uh, let me just get rid of that uh, Save it, yes. Okay. Now going to object source, I'm going to add my simple source in here. So with this uh, when I go to simulation, uh there is a quick uh, burst of fire. Okay. So so we are using a simple source. In this case we are just using one simple source, but we can use multiple simple source inside one container okay so let me choose a cylinder for this one uh, it's, let me just rotate oops, sorry rotate this one uh, just 90 degree okay now let me go ahead and create another simple source okay And that goes. Oops. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, this one. Uh, let me go ahead and control this. It's diameter and height. We can also control it from here and fuel amount, type, temperature. And go to again, fume effect container. And you can add another source as well. Now, let me just move a little in. Now let me go ahead and do another sim. So now we have got two sources from which our fire is burning. So whenever you are dealing with large explosions or large scale fires, so you may want to use multiple sources just in your inside one container. So you can also rotate this and position it as you want. So you can create a large amount of explosions and you can just control their settings individually so selecting different sources for source 1 you can have fuel amount uh, temperature amount and maps everything and also for the source 2 so you can totally differently control, control them and get a great result okay that's it for simple source now let me move ahead with object source and the particle source okay I've got this container okay let me just increase its height okay so going to our create panel helpers film effects we have got object source and particle source first of all let us understand what object source is let me just create one okay it creates one icon like this object source so objects are uh, referred to any m mesh or uh, any object created in Max. Okay, let's say we have got a box, and we want this box to burn, or let's say we have got some sphere, uh, or maybe other objects we want to burn. So let me just use a square for this case. Okay, so we want to burn this square. So what can we do? to burn it so that's when object source come in handy so selecting the um, film effects container modify okay we have got this UI floater on the object source if we pick our object as our source it gets picked but when you do a simulation 
there is no burning happening so why is that okay so let me see, uh, tell you how we can do that okay let's remove this one now we have got our object source and our object so, place your object inside the container and your object source which we created from the helpers from the helper object source created outside the container now select your object source go to modify tab and under objects just pick object and select your object in this way you have just linked your object source with this object so now uh, we can go to containers UA floater and then object source we can now pick our object source as our burning source or let's say object then if you go to simulation we have got this burning so now our cube is burning right away okay that's what object source is first of all we're going we're gonna create one object source then our object and add that object to object source and then add that object source to our object in FilmFX UI Floater. Hey, nothing too crazy. Okay. So, okay, let me just create uh, one more object. Uh, a box, let's say. Okay, and then just let me move it up. Okay. So we have got two objects in this scene. Uh, if I add this up object as well into our object source then into our object source uh, if you again go and simulation we have got both the objects burning on fire okay so uh, let me select our object source and delete box 2 from that remove that okay and again do another sim now only the cube first cube is burning okay so into the object tab if I add my um, next box which has not been added to the object source so what will happen that won't burn but it will interact with the fire so let me show you what does that does so when our ri fire rises up up okay let's see so if you see that the smokes are blocking away so what's that ha why is that happening that's all because of our object this upper object which has not been added to our object source but added into our object tab okay one more time um, I have got two objects in my scene one container and one object source so this object source is linked with this box 01 and this box 01 is not linked with this object source so into my UA floater I've added one object source as my uh, emitter and box 02 so this object source is going to burn and then this box 02 is going to uh, block the fire whenever it strikes it so if I am got a little more closer then let's see okay let me do another sim okay now you can see that quickly our box O2 is blocking the fire so that's what it is that's why we use object surge to burn an object okay so simple source we just create it to burn fire from that source object source we use it to burn a fire from any object let's say if you have got a car blasting or let's say you have got a matchstick or candles you may want to burn some objects into your scene so at that case this object source will come in really handy so I hope you understand about object source okay now let me move ahead to particle source Okay, uh, let me just delete the object source and these two objects. Oops. Mm, these two objects. Okay, now moving back to helpers, we have got particle source.
okay this one's got one icon as well so what is particle refer to if you are new to max and then I think you must you must not go move ahead with this tutorial because you need to have some knowledge about particle flows to use this one so so we're gonna need one particle system so basically our object source was to burn our objects so our particle source it is used to burn particles into our scene so let me go ahead and create our simple particle system okay let me use pf source okay and let me just rotate it 180 degree okay now uh, if you move if I move my timeline then we have got some particles burning out bursting out let's say okay so we can also control the flow of particle by pressing the 6 key on your keyboard then you get this particle view so you have got lots of things to control here you have got some birth, birth amount, emit start and stop so you can just control that let me just top to 100 so if you move your timeline up to 100 the particle will continue to burst out so um, you have got a lot more things to do so if you want to learn more about particle flow then I think go ahead and watch some other tutorials um, and for now just let me just create something basic settings okay or maybe just for demonstration that flow will work pretty good so just close that particle view so we have got one particle system into our scene or let's say in, inside our container and a particle source so we are going to do the same thing as we did for object source so selecting the particle source into our modify panel we're going to add our particle add this particle and then select the container into the object source we're gonna add our particle source in this way it's gonna burn our particles look we have got some bursting uh, let's say small fireballs upwards so all our particles are burning So, nothing to get confused about. Um, if you have understood object source, then it's just the same kind of like that. Create one particle source, particle source, and create one particle system. Link that particle system to that particle source, and add that particle source as your object in your container floater. Floater on object source tab. So, okay, uh, let me again go to that back. Okay, particle source, you have got some settings right down here. You have got icon size, so you can control your icon size on your scene, You how much big you want. Or you have got radius of your particle. If you increase the radius, let's see what happens. Your fire will definitely increase. Look, you have got bigger fires now. Just stop that. Hey, you have got velocity, fuel, temperature, like we had in our object source. So basically, it's um, object source and particle source are almost same as per the settings or uh, so. But this difference is that particle source uses a particle system to burn, and object source uses any object to burn in a scene. So particle source you might need want to use when you have got some kind of flint throwers or let's say some kind of uh, large scale fires realistic fires or maybe sometimes for smokes as well so it might come in really handy so you you will need to have a good knowledge of particle system to use this particle source okay that's it um so I think that we're done with all three types of sources simple source, object source, and particle source. So, and I have also went through 
most of the basic settings in my previous tutorials uh, from the channel tabs and simulation rendering elimination and object source all tab so if you have forget any of them then you can just go back and watch my previous tutorials so till then goodbye thanks for watching it